Housing is one of the important sectors in the economy and in this study we would like to understand how a central bank can affect the housing market by introducing policies such as the loan to income ratio. So in this project we develop a model to study possible effects of macroprudential policies on the UK housing market and it adopts an agent-based modelling approach. So it is not uh, one of the common economic modelling approaches but we choose this one because it allows us to model the different actors in the housing market in detail, such as first-time buyers, home movers, buy-to-let investors and renters. Also, it allows for nonlinear dynamics, such as housing booms and busts, which arises naturally um, from the interaction between the buyers and sellers in the market. Um, also, this approach allows us to assess the impact of policies, which only targets the certain segments of the market. By using this model, we have conducted an experiment to understand the impact of loan to income flow limit on the housing market. This experiment was quite similar to um, Financial Policy Committee's um, housing policy that was introduced three years ago, but at a different threshold. In our experiment, um, the policy is mortgage lenders cannot extend more than 15% of their new mortgages at or greater than 3.5 loan to income ratio, whereas the actual policy, the threshold was 4.5. We find that this policy reduces the high loan to income lending and also dampens the house price cycles. The main takeaway is this model can increase the tools available for policy making at the central banks. Mm -hmm.